In this video we're going to look at a possible solution for a problem that periodically occurs with XPS data and that is when we have a spectrum of this form where we suspect there are four components within the data we have other evidence to suggest there are four components in the data for example if we go through these data we see an evolution where four components seem to emerge as we go through this experiment and we can somehow perhaps justify that there are four components for these data then what we would like to do is be able to fit a spectrum such as this with components that are consistent with other fits throughout the entire data set. So let me illustrate what I mean by an inconsistent peak fit. Here is a peak model. Now you can argue over whether there are four, five or more peaks in this peak model but at least in this instance four component peaks fit these data and throughout the entire data set four component peaks appear to allow fits to data that are consistent with pulse counted data. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to assume there are four peaks under this spectrum. And I'm also going to assume there are four peaks underneath the first spectrum. So when I propagate from the spectrum in the display tile to the selected spectrum using the browser operations and I propagate regions, components and I auto fit then the result is again a fit. The fit appears to make sense in the sense of the residual looks reasonably good the residual standard deviation is consistent with pulse counted data but when we investigate the components that have been created through this optimization we can see that there are three components with full half maxima that are close to unity but there's one that is 0 0.52 now this is unlikely to be physically meaningful for these data it's particularly unlikely because the spectrum from which I propagated these components all had forward half maxima of about unity. So the question that one needs to pose as we fit components to different spectra for which it's not quite so obvious that something is wrong as in this case, which of the forward half maxima and the positions of these peaks are most representative of the full data set? And that is what we're going to look at in this video, is how to create a peak model that estimates the forward half maxima and position for components using all spectra that are listed in this experiment. When we have data such as these and we fit the peak model that is displayed on the components property page to these data, it's because this is the first selected VAMAS block displayed in this tile and so the operations on the dialog window apply to this particular VAMAS block and this particular spectrum. If I adjust these so that we can see a different set of components in the sense of different parameters and then say fit we return to the fit that you would expect. However there is another mode for this fit components button and it is enabled once we overlay spectra in the active tile. And now we have a set of spectra all of which ought to have the same four components. Now we know that this first one produced a result that is non-physical in terms of this fourth component of 0 0.5 so what we would like to do now is make use of the information that is in the entire data set to try and determine what the forward half maximum ought to be for all four components subject to minimizing the least squares to all of these data. Now this won't produce a fit in terms of fitting the data because what will happen is these components will adjust to try and fit the effectively the average spectrum within the set of data and as a consequence the residual will change and look rather unruly but nevertheless the components themselves will adjust to find the optimum in terms of the entire data set by adjusting the forward half maxima 
and the positions to satisfy the best figure of merit. So we now can perform a fit components operation provided we have previously defined backgrounds for all of these data. Now at the moment only the first one has a peak model so it has components and it has a background. So before proceeding I need to I need to propagate regions from the first VAMAS block, the one that I selected first that has the peak model, to all of the other selected VAMAS blocks. So we can see here these are all selected in this list. We can see the one that is the source for the regions. So we say OK and as a result we end up with backgrounds defined on all the data and we can see this because the residual is showing an inverted spectrum that is normalized. The residual that is there for the fit to the first component is still there and so we see a good fit. However, when we now say fit components, a dialog window is offered and it says fit multiple spectra. So now we can fit not to any particular spectrum but the entire set of spectra and the fit will be in a least squares sense to the entire set of spectra therefore the peak model will no longer fit any particular spectrum within this data set and we'll see that reflected in the residual so where we had a good fit for the first component we don't now we don't see changes to the shapes from the other spectra because there's just the one peak model fitting a spectrum that isn't representative of any of these spectra and the peak model has not been propagated to the other spectra it's simply using the other spectra to calculate the most appropriate positions and full width half maxima. Now if we investigate the peak that was causing trouble before we can see that the full width half maxima is close to unity. So this is suggesting that by making use of all the data we are forcing a fit that is appropriate for even spectra that do not have enough signal to get a, a proper full width half maxima and position by fitting to that individual spectrum. We end up with a model that can now be applied by propagation to all of these spectra where because we've chosen the full width half maximum position based on the full data set we can now fix these parameters and therefore obtain a peak model that we can propagate without fear of changes occurring that would invalidate experiment that we've just performed to work out the full width half maxima and positions so if I now propagate to all these data, the result of fixing these full width half maxima and positions, I will then have a peak model that applies to each and every spectrum in this list. So propagate regions, components, auto fit, and we now simply wait, and the result will be residuals that look suitable for pulse counted data for all spectra. At least that's the hope. So what we've done is estimate from the entire data set the forward half maxima and positions. And the success or failure of this type of operation will depend on how these data are located with respect to energy. For each spectrum is consistent with the other spectra, then we will get a result that is valid. If data shifts and there are other factors involved, then this type of operation is not appropriate. We would need to do energy calibration before applying the, these types of estimates for width and position.